I'm Katie Chen. I'm a food blogger, a cookbook author, and a working mom. My cooking videos are all about fast, fresh, and fabulous Asian recipes that anyone can make at home. Hi, I'm Katie Chen, and welcome to the Sweet and Sour Chronicles. Today, I'm making wonton soup. Now, unfortunately, my poor son Dylan is sick. But that doesn't mean we're not gonna have fun today making this wonton soup. Most cultures have a health-giving soup. In Chinese culture, it's wonton soup. My husband's family gave him matzo ball soup. Most moms I know opened him a can of Camel's chicken soup. This is a great alternative. I remember my mom would make this chicken stock from scratch and she'd make her handmade wontons, drop them in the boiling broth and we'd watch them dance and bob. This is also a great recipe to make with your kids because they can get their hands messy and the wontons don't always look that great but they always taste delicious. So we're just gonna start with our filling which is some minced shrimp. You could mince this in a food processor or just by hand. some ground chicken, some sliced green scallions, minced water chestnuts. Now I just bought these water chestnuts in a can at the grocery store. Some cornstarch, a little bit of salt, a bit of sesame oil for flavor and a touch of white pepper. I'm just gonna mix this to combine. And a little bit goes a long way. This powder sore filling will make about 50 to 60 wontons, believe it or not. Looks really good. Okay, now that this is all blended together, we're gonna go ahead and fold our wontons. Okay, so we're gonna start with some wonton skins. I just bought these at the grocery store. You can usually find them in the produce section. I'm gonna take an egg wash. Egg wash is just some egg mixed with a little bit of water. Let me get the sides nice and moist and covered with eggs so that our wontons stick together. Now I'm just taking about a half a teaspoon of filling, putting it in the middle, then I'm just going to fold this up like a triangle, dab a bit of egg right there, take my middle finger, now take the right side, fold it behind the left side, and pinch. There you go. Not too hard. Just takes a little practice. Once your kids learn how, then you can make them do it. Okay, a few more of these. I'm just gonna keep folding till our filling is finished. Now before we make our soup, I'm just gonna parboil our wontons. I have some boiling water here, I'm just gonna bring it to a simmer. Then we're gonna add our wontons and let them simmer uncovered for about two minutes. The reason we parboil the wontons is so they don't get overcooked and mushy. So we're just gonna cook them slightly, add them back when we're almost done with the soup and they'll be tender and delicious. Okay, now that the wontons are parboiled, I'm gonna put them in an ice bath for about two minutes. Okay, our wontons are nice and chilled, so we're gonna move on to making our soup. I'm just gonna bring some chicken broth to a boil. Now, today I'm just using store-bought chicken broth, which is totally fine, but if you go to my blog, sweetandsourchronicles.com, I'll show you how to make it from scratch. We're just gonna bring this chicken broth to a boil. Okay, soup's on. We're gonna put our reserved wontons in our boiling chicken broth, some sliced black mushrooms. Just gonna stir this to combine a bit. Now I'm gonna add some slices of whole ginger. It smells so good. Now ginger is a wonderful antioxidant and it's great for digestion. Add some ginger, some shredded bamboo shoots. I just got these at the grocery store actually. About a teaspoon of salt and a touch of white pepper. Now we're just gonna let this come back to a boil. Now that our soup has come back to a boil, I'm just gonna put it on simmer. I'm gonna add some blanched pea pods. 
You could also add some carrots, broccoli, whatever veggies you might have on hand. And we're gonna just let this simmer for about two minutes. Now that our soup is simmered for about two minutes, I'm gonna add some sesame oil for flavor. Whenever an Asian recipe calls for sesame oil, make sure it's toasted or roasted sesame oil. I'm just gonna stir that to combine. Add a few scallions. Mmm, it's already done. That is one healthy soup. Now I'm just gonna put it in a little bowl for my sweet little Dylan. I usually give each person two or three wontons. Now the recipe we just made actually feeds about eight people. Luckily I don't have eight sick kids on my hands. I'm gonna sprinkle a few more green onions on there. Of course I have to make sure it's okay before I give it to my son. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry I can't stop drinking it. It's so delicious. I just love that spike of ginger and the mushrooms add a nice earthy mellowness to this. Dylan's gonna love it. Now of course, with his favorite lollipop, something that will make any little boy feel better. Now for the full recipe of this wonton soup, go to my blog, thesweetandsourchronicles.com. Make sure to subscribe. Let me know what your favorite Asian soup is and maybe I'll make it next time. Until then, happy cooking. Please check out my latest cookbook, Everyday Thai Cooking, available on Amazon and fine booksellers everywhere.